Salutations, this is Grim Tavell. Welcome back to our Let's Play of The Longing. I was having a pleasant time thinking about nothing, but then I started playing The Longing and I started thinking deep, profound thoughts about life and philosophy. Uh, we're not awakening the king yet. In fact, um, we were going to go into our lair to do some time manipulation, but I changed my mind. We're not going to do that yet. Not yet. Actually, should we? You know what? Let's do it. We're going to do it because, um... Actually, I was thinking... All right, a couple of things. <laughs> I always start videos this way. I, get, I, like, start talking about one thing and then get flustered. Th start talking about something else. So, um... I, I did, as promised, actually look at the map. And I found the hidden door. No one told me where it was. And I think it, there is a difference between the map that we saw in, like, episode two... And the map that we saw when we looked at it again recently. And I, um, we're gonna light some fire here. And we're gonna turn back time. Do, 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 do. Find a way. Um, we're gonna make a fire. And we're gonna turn back some time. So, um... There was a difference, but I was looking for something like a full door. And that's not really what it looks like. It just looks like... I'm actually... I feel really lucky that I saw it. Because um, it's a faint shadow of a door. Um, and that's it. That's all it is. Alright, that's, that's good. Um, no, don't exit the game. Stop it. Stop doing that. Um... We're going to stop reading. And um, so I, I did find it. And I, I'm, I, I, I happen to notice watching the footage. It is not, like I said, it's, it's not in that original map. I think that shadow does only appear when you look at it again um, later. After I guess after you get the clue, I don't know. But I only saw the shade, the like shadow of a door, when I looked at it again. And it's very faint. But I know where it is. I, I did see it. It was pretty distinct when I noticed it and looked really closely. Um, so I was thinking we would do that. But since we're already here, I have another surprise for you all. And that is that I I downloaded a, an auto clicker. I'm not sure if it's on right now. Is it? It might be. Is it on right now? Hold on. Let me, let me see. Hold on. I got to tab out here. No, it's not on. Hold on. Let me... Uh, there it is. I'm going to turn on this auto clicker that y'all can't see. Um, yeah, yeah. So now we should be able to, I should be able to read books quickly and reduce the time. So that should actually make it pretty easy to do this time manipulation with an auto clicker. It's a free little auto clicking app I got. Uh, so we're going to read a book. Um, our own thoughts. Still don't know where that last disappointment is. I still don't know about the never-ending notebook. Still nothing we can do about that. The never-ending notebook. Can I... Yeah. I, I have it auto-clicking probably way too fast. Oh, no. Right now it's doing like 10 clicks a second. Um... I just have it set up with a hot key. Yeah, no, no idea what to do with that. But okay, so let's let's just find a book. This one's fine, and I'm going to. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Although time is not passing as quickly as I would have thought here, is it? Mm mm, it's not. Does it know I'm auto-clicking? Yeah, maybe it does. It seems to be going faster when I... Is it? Auto-click. Yeah, I feel like that's not really doing much. Maybe it's the book. We're maybe... Doing something wrong? We were reading Monte Cristo. Oh, yeah, that's going fast. Let me auto-click. Yeah, that's going faster. That's interesting. 
Okay, this is good. This auto-clicking is going just fine. Shouldn't take too long now. 22. I mean, it'll, it'll, we'll have to get down there still, but... I think we should be able to get that green gem this episode. Auto-clicker. Man, my fingers were really tired last time. So I guess I have something to talk about this episode, which has to do with another series of mine. Um, and it's an interesting turn of events. So I don't know if this is the only... I, I can't remember if I mentioned this. I don't think I did. It's a fairly recent development. Um, I, you know, people that watch the series may not watch my other series. Maybe I did mention this, but I have... Um, one of the games that I play pretty often on my channel is Caves of Cud. Oh, I just got an achievement. What did that say? Avid reader. I got an avid reader achievement. Yeah, I guess so. Um, and I, one morning last weekend, I think, I noticed, um, I follow the Caves of Cud devs. So I, I follow the Caves of Cud developers, the two main developers and a couple other people, maybe one other person that, that, uh, that works on the game on Twitter. And uh, I saw on, uh, Brian Bucklew is one of the devs, and on his Twitter, uh, he posted a video, um, or a link to a video, as kind of a curiosity. Apparently, um, a really big name YouTuber uh, made a Caves of Cud video, and since then, he's see he just saw, at that point, a really big spike in... Um, in sales, I think it was, no, it was sorry. He would at first he was just looking at views on the video and how many people had watched it, and it was a lot. Um, and then, uh, so you know, I, 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 I looked at the apparently the I did not know the big name YouTuber. Um, I'm not very well versed in YouTube celebrity culture, so uh, it's a person named Seth S S E T H. That's not the full name, but that's all I remember. Um, you probably know who he is because you're probably more well-versed in YouTube culture than I am. But uh, apparently, um, he he is associated with. I don't think I don't know if he actually makes videos himself that are like right wing. Um, but his followers apparently tend to be um, kind of trollish right wing culture folks and he has a lot of followers not all certainly not all of them because he has a ton of followers but apparently um there is that association with him and, and his his with his following and that kind of culture um and the caves of cud community in general is kind of the antithesis of that um i will say i i watched this video uh and it was a really you know, it's it's a, a bit str like there was some weirdness in the video, sure. But it was wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. Get out of here. I I I stop. No, man. Yes, get out. Leave now. Oh, I hope I didn't mess that up. It might be too late. I can't remember how long it took. It's too late, isn't it? I think it's too late. Ah, uh, I couldn't like stop it fast enough. I think it's too late. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, but it might be too late. We'll see. I think last time I tried it, I timed it right, and I think it might have taken longer. And maybe it didn't. Maybe it only took four and a half minutes, or maybe that's how much time I had. We'll see. If we don't do it now, we'll just go to the other door. So. That's what happens when I'm, I'm, I wasn't really watching carefully enough and I get confused about which is days and which is hours. Um, so, so anyway, that's that YouTuber and that community. The video was very complimentary about the game. It was a really fun video. On, it made me want to play more Caves of Cud. Um, it, was, it was super complimentary, showed the game in a really good light, um, and it made it look super fun. And... Then I saw um, Brian Bucklew, that dev, start tweeting about the sales. Apparently, he had, like, the biggest sales spike in Caves of Cud um, that they've ever had, like, by far. And um, 
And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then I noticed that my Caves of Cud videos had all gotten a really big viewership spike. All of my top videos were Caves of Cud videos all of a sudden. Because of this interest that this one YouTuber generated, people are starting to look for Caves of Cud videos, and they found mine. Because um, there aren't a huge amount of people that let's play Caves of Cud videos. And that's, I was like, look at this. And uh, he retweeted that that screenshot, and that was really cool. Um, so there have been, there's been, this is the second time in a sh fairly short amount of time, uh, as you know, that uh, someone, like another big YouTuber making a video, a popular video about a game that I happen to have on my channel um, has been like a boon for my channel. First with The Longing, with Adam Allard's video, um, and that's how a lot of you found me through that in this series. And now Caves of Cud and this Seth video. Um, but I have to say, the, the the people that are into the longing seem to be of a different um, a different uh, mindset. You've all been everyone that's come here for the longing has been awesome. You all have been super supportive and just awesome folks. Um, and the people, a lot of the new people that are here to watch Caves of Cud, certainly a lot of them are awesome folks. Um, I, I think probably most of them. But I've definitely noticed an uptick in trolls. There's just no other word for it. Just trolls. Um, and people, A lot more people commenting on my anti-racism video. People, like, angry about it and trying to get me to, like, react I guess, like, people people seem to be, like, uh, commenting on it, and and then, um, you know, I'll, like, I don't understand why they're there. Like, they'll keep commenting on it, like, seeming to want to get some reaction out of me or something, because, like, I don't, if they're, they're like, oh, I'm not going to watch your videos ever again because of this. I'm like, okay, cool, bye. And then they'll keep commenting. I'm like, what are you, why are you, what are you doing? Like, if you're, if you wanted to leave, if you don't want anything to do with me, if you hate this community, why are you still here? It's really fascinating to me the how people, like, it's, it's clear, like, they want, like, they need to be heard, I guess. Um, like, they have to feel like they've been, like, their, their hatred has been noticed duly or something like that. Um, and it's really interesting. I'm not... I don't really get super bothered. I know that there are a lot of stupid people out there. Um, and when I say stupid, I don't really mean stupid. I really just mean mean people. They're just mean. Um, people that just don't care about the feelings of other people. That's really all it is. Um, I think we might actually make it in time here, by the way. Um, anyway, there are a lot of those people. All this, A lot more of those people. A spike in those people. Um, and I've noticed it also in the Caves of Cud, like, Discord server and on, on Twitter. Um, a lot of these people showing up. And that whole community is kind of just, like, laughing about it. Um, I, I guess as I am, it's, uh, it's really fascinating. And again, this has nothing to do with political ideology. Like, anyone is welcome to watch my channel. Uh, I happen to be, uh, my politics happen to be progressive. And I make, I'm, I don't hide that. I'm, I like talking about it. Um, I'm proud of what I believe. Um, and anyone is welcome to have a civil discussion about what they believe and um, and disagree with me, and that's great. Um, but if you're going to be a troll, like, there's no place for you here. What are you doing? Uh, what is that, like, just selfish need you have? Um, so anyway, that's that's been an interesting development. But... The nice thing is it has brought other cool people and, of course, just a bigger bigger community, most of which has been good. Uh, actually, I don't know if we're going to make it in time. We're going to be cutting it really close. Really close. I think we're not going to make it. Although there is a little bit... It's going to be frustrating. There's a little bit of leeway time, and we'll probably just almost get there and then just fail to get it. I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah, that's almost definitely what's going to happen. In fact, I don't even think... I think we failed. We just plain failed. If we had had one more minute, if I had stopped it just a second earlier, 
I think we would have made it. No. We failed this. We definitely failed this. That's so frustrating. This is this... Uh, yeah. Oh. What? Yeah, it changed. All right. You know what? Let's not. I know we've already wasted 50 minutes of this episode. At least we know it's easy to do it again with the auto clicker. I feel really dumb that for, like, that's three times. Well, no, that's twice that I've overshot the time. Um, but the third time that we've had to do that. And I'm, apparently I'm really bad at that. So we'll do that, I guess, probably next episode. It depends how the rest of this episode is going to go. We're going to go to, um, uh, we're going to go to the secret door and see what's there. So this episode won't be a total loss. This is frustrating, but um, hopefully the reward, whatever reward we get, whatever new thing we're going to see will hopefully make up for my, my ineptitude at flipping pages in a book slowly enough. Oi. Uh, yeah, so um, anyway, <laughs> that's, that's going on. Um, and people also seem to care about, like, in those comments, everyone that disagrees with me is like, I can't sub to your channel. I'm not going to watch your videos anymore. But I, I, people seem to be under the impression that I, that I care? That, that, well, I mean, that I care about, like, how many views I get or, like, that they're not going to be a part of this community anymore. I don't get paid for this. My channel's not monetized. I do this for fun. I do this for the sense of community I get and, and you all. Uh, that's really fun for me. I, I love these interactions and talking with y'all. And if someone's not going to be cool, then I, I don't want you to watch my videos or be a part of this community. So thanks. It's just, it, it's strange to me. Really strange to me. Um, all that said, again, I don't know this Seth guy at all. Um, personally, he, he may be fine. Although I kind of get the impression that he doesn't do a lot to tamper the more extreme trolly viewership that he has. Although, you know, again, he probably makes a living doing that. So it's a little more understandable, but, you know, also not. Um, but whatever. I Again, I don't really know him. I don't know his story. But uh, you could watch that Case of Cut video of his. It is cool. Um, it is complimentary. And I learned a couple of things from it. Uh, I definitely did. Where? Because I don't actually watch a lot of Caves of Cut videos or any Caves of Cut videos. Um, is this where I want to be? Maybe. I think go in there. Um, but, so you know, yeah, because I don't watch a lot of Caves of Cut videos, there are some some things in in his video that he shows off as being like a really cool part of the game. I was like, oh, I had no idea that you could do that. Oh, I didn't know that that mechanic was exploitable. Um, and I'm kind of excited to try exploiting some of those things that he showed um, because those are things that I think the developers like kind of encourage you to exploit. So yeah, Caves of Cud, again, and if you haven't watched that series, if you don't know that game, highly encourage you to watch it on my channel. We're in the middle. That's the game I'm live streaming right now and it's super fun and I'm excited about the next live stream of it. Um, I think we're going left here. I'm a little disoriented. I don't have my map open. I don't think we're going through this door, but I just want to kind of sanity check. Uh, I don't think so. Wait, is it? Ah, uh, you know what? Let me open my map up. Let me get that map open. I'm sorry. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. it'll just take me a second. I don't want it. We don't. I don't want to waste time here. You know what I mean? Where's that map? The longing map. Okay. Right. Let me zoom in. I know you're not seeing it. I know. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think it's right to the left here. Right to the left? It's left to the left here.
I believe it's just here, right here. And if you watch back that video, I think you'll see it here. Oh, my game just kind of stuttered. Is that a coincidence? I think so. Okay. I think there is a door right here. How do I uh, open it? There was like a shadow of a door. Right here. I'm pretty certain. Maybe, is it possible that this is also like a time thing? That like it'll only be accessible at a certain time or like right at my birthday or like. What is this? What is this about? I'm pretty sure it was right here. Let me look at my map again. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain it's right where I'm standing. It's possible it's in between these two doors. But I think it was over there. Like, what am I supposed to... Oh, okay. What am I supposed to do? I think it was right here. Look, if you look back at that video, the, the more recent video where we open the map, where I'm like, oh, an area where we can see the most... Um... Do I just need to stand here for a while? You you should see like a shadow of a door right where I'm standing. Um What can we do? Well, this is disappointing. Um How do I open? All right, I, I guess let me look at my notes again. Um, hold on. Whoops. All right. So the clue is you may find a mysterious door if you look for it where you can see the most. Maybe we have. Maybe we have to look at the map first, and then. And then go here. I don't want to waste a lot of time. Like we're already 22 minutes in here. Um, no, not here. Yeah, to get to the map room, I know how to get there, but it's it's a little annoying. We'll try it. I don't know what else to try. And I'll show you, too. That way you don't have to go back and watch that other video yourself. All right, get in there. Hmm. Well, this is a doubly disappointing episode so far. All right, here we go. All right, take some time to decipher it. It's gonna, we're gonna zoom out and I'll show you. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to zoom out. Come on, little shade. Investigate. Decipher. All right. It is zooming out. Slowly. It's just below us, so it really shouldn't take too long. But maybe this is what we have to do to then just immediately walk to it after we see it. Maybe. I 
Okay. Yes, we are starting to understand these carvings. This says investigate again. Uh, should be right down here. Okay, started to see the top. And see, you see, there's like a shadow of a door here, right there, right there, shadow of a door. Hard to see, but it's there. <gasps> We're walking to it. Oh, I just double clicked. I didn't know we could walk. Wait, okay. We're, we are zooming back in. Maybe we needed to, um, oh, okay. Well, we'll try it. We'll try going there now. I was like, oh, is he just walking there? But no, he, did, he didn't really. Pitter-pat little shade. I'm hoping that going there immediately Will mean we can do something with it. Matic it? Who knows? Come on. It's here. It's right here. I don't know. Um, well, maybe maybe we just need to wait here. Uh, that's all I can think. That's all I can think. The clue is just, um, that you may find a mysterious door if you look for it where you can see the most. And we saw that, but there's nothing here. So, um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a cut in here, and then I'm not going to play another episode right away. Maybe time passing will change. Maybe the shade sitting right in front of here will cause something to happen. I don't know. Or maybe there's some secret in here that we need to activate to open that door. Like, look, that column is pink. Two, two pink columns. Maybe there's a button in here. Or maybe there's some other way to activate it on like the other side. Maybe there's some kind of activation for it that I just don't know, that we haven't seen. Maybe I need to do some, like, mouse hunting. It doesn't seem that way, though. Maybe it is a birthday thing, but I don't think so. Because it's only the birthday present that I had to do with that. Also, we have a key. Maybe the key opens it, but we have the key. Like, there's no way to just use inventory. All right, I'm just waiting here. And next episode, we'll try to rethink this and maybe try the time thing again. I enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.